Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve, I will call this the perfect autumn, fall makeup glam because I just really, it's just sexy eyes. When you think of fall, you just think of really like sexy, warm tones. I don't know, that's what I think. <laughs> fierce, fierce is what I say. Fierce fall glam is what I would call this makeup look. If you guys want to learn how to do this makeup look, then, then just keep watching. I'm sorry. I my, I cannot speak today, but you know what? Here we are. <laughs> Anyways, continue watching, guys. Okay, so I already have this eye done right here, just so we can cut down the time of filming this part. So I'm going to zoom you guys in, and we can start off on this eye. So the palette that I'm using today is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette because it has some of the best matte eyeshadows ever and these really gorgeous bronzy sparkles um this is what i used the last time i did this makeup look and i just freaking love how it turned out and the quality of these eyeshadows are just amazing and then also the makeup by mario master mattes palette for the black black shadow in here as well i'm gonna start off by priming my eyes using some mac lane low paint pot so the first shadow i'm gonna take from the from the natasha denona palette is this really pretty kind of mustardy yellow mattes um, and I'm gonna pick that up on a big old blending brush this is a makeup shack t12 oh my god as I drop brushes and I'm going to pick up that shade and I'm gonna run this through my crease this will just give me my transition shade and it just has such a really pretty warmth to it and I'm going to blow this out and kind of wing it out kind of far as well bring it all the way out here and just blend up and also just kind of fill in this corner right here as well just with, with whatever is left on the brush next I'm gonna pick up a little pointed blender brush like this and I'm going to mix both of these lighter browns evenly on the brush and I'm going to mainly just pack this onto my outer corner and a little bit into like halfway into my crease but mainly just the outer corner for a little bit more definition over here and I'm just kind of doing like circular motions and building that color up once you have that blended out to your liking you're now going to take a this is an even smaller blending brush it's kind of like a dome uh, pencil brush almost but bigger than a pencil brush I'm gonna pick up this the darkest matte brown in the palettes and I'm going to pretty much stamp out a wing shape and I kind of want this color to be uh, I want to make a pretty big thick wing so just follow where your natural waterline just kind of goes up and I'm bringing it about halfway in to my eye. I'm not going to have it look. <laughs> Just bring it about halfway into your eye. And you don't necessarily need it to be perfect. Because we're going to continue building up the color. Just as long as you have the shape. And then before we define this smoky wing a little bit more. I'm just going to pick up a fluffy flash shader brush. And I'm going to pick up this really pretty bronze shade from the palette and I am literally just gonna blend this in to the lid and then up into the crease. I wanted to kind of have like a seamless transition between the matte shades and this really gorgeous metallic. So I'm just kind of bringing the brush to the side here and just running it along my crease and that's gonna help me blend the, that shade out. have it be more diffused. Now to going back to defining this wing, I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier, what is it? Caviar stick eye color in the shade Tuxedo, it's just a matte black. And I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this and run it towards the base of my lash line here, in the outer corner. And then, taking a uh, smudger brush and blending that out. We're 
where you still want it to be kind of lower down, lower to your uh, your lid, and you don't want to bring that black shade up too high. Because we want it to kind of have like a really nice gradient. Once you have the caviar stick kind of blended out nicely, I'm gonna pick up not on this palette. I'm gonna go into my Master Mats palette from Mario, and I'm gonna pick up the black shade just a little bit on the same brush, and I'm just going to pack this pretty much on the very base of my lash line here. And then for me, I'm just gonna go back into that dark brown and kind of blend out that black a little bit more. And then this part is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna pick up another kind of more of a fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna pick up this very bottom matte shade from the palette. It's just slightly darker, I mean, slightly lighter than the darkest brown, but we're gonna run this right along the edge of that dark brown shade that we placed to kind of help create a little bit more of that gradient. And lastly for the eyes, for right now, I'm gonna pick up this really pretty, it's kind of like a, almost, it's like an eye topper. And I am just going to, I have like so many things in front of me right now. I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger and tap it on the center of my eye because it just gives the eye a little bit more of a glimmer. And I'm, I really don't care because I'm kind of going over the wing here a little bit. but it just gives the eye a little bit more of a pop and just really brings the attention to the eyes even more. So I'm gonna quickly do my face makeup off camera and I'll be back with, <clears throat> and I'll be back to finish up the eyes, blush, highlighter, bronzer, lips, everything like that. So I'll be right back guys. Okay, so I got my base done. I just have all my cream products on and I set it with powder. So I'm just going to quickly do all my powder products. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. This is Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in Light Medium. And I kinda chisel out my face here and give myself a little bit of warmth. And really hit my double chin because it is very prominent right now. I'm also going to use this and contour my nose quickly. For my blush, I'm going to go into this KKW blush palette and I think I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here called number three. Taking number three from the palette and rosy up my cheeks. And I'm gonna carry that same blush kind of like around my face to tie it in all together. For my highlighter, I'm gonna go into my Dior, what is this called? Dior Nude Luminizer in shade 01. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's just so pretty and blinding. But I'm just gonna pick it up. Hit it on this part of my face first. This has been my new way of highlighting lately. And then carry up whatever is left to the uh, up, further up my cheekbone. I'm like, don't know words today. And hit all the other points of my face. All right, so let's zoom you guys back in really quickly so we can finish off the eye look here. I'm gonna quickly run a black eyeliner through my waterline. This is from LA Girl. It's the Ultimate Intense Stay, Stay Auto Liner. It's one of my favorite, my favorite black eyeliners. It just stays so nicely. I'm gonna run this all the way through my waterline. And I'm just gonna slightly kind of smoke out the lash line here, so I'm just gonna pick up this shade from the palette. So just kind of like a mid-tone brown, I would say, and just run this all the way through my lower lash line. 
just for a soft smoke effect. For my inner corner, I'm going to take the same shade that I used for the pop on the center of, my, center of my lid on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to pop this right into my inner corner and kind of disperse it, tap it out all across so you can be able to kind of catch a glimpse of this gleam whatever way I'm looking. I'm also going to take a black liquid liner and I'm going to do a little inner corner cat eye so that because that's what I did in the original look and I just think it really just ties the whole look together since it is very winged out here it just looks it just looks really good so I'm going to do that <laughs> okay have that done I never like doing inner corner cat eyes because I just feel like they don't look necessarily look the greatest on me but in certain eye looks I just feel like they're really needed but once I put on the pair of lashes they're gonna you know it's gonna look even better so it's gonna tie in pretty well so for lashes I use the Kiss Lash Couture triple push-up collection they look like this they've been honestly one of my new favorite lashes and they were like $15.99 and you get four pairs. So I'm gonna quickly go apply a pair of these, put some mascara on, and I'll be back to show you guys the lips. All right, there we go. Okay, the lashes are on, and now you guys can really see like what I mean. Like the lashes just really bring everything together, even with the little inner corner wing. It just looks so good. All right, let's go on to the lips here. You can truly do whatever you want because the eyes are still super neutral. You can do a bold lip, you can do a nude, you can just wear a gloss, anything really. This eye goes with uh, absolutely anything. I'm gonna do a nude because uh, <laughs> who am I without doing a nude lip? So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips using KKW uh, Nude 1.5 Lip Liner and I'm gonna do an entire overline of my lip with this. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and take this Anastasia Butterscotch lipstick. I've only used it a few times, but I think it would look really good with the makeup look today. Alright, and this right here is the finished look. What do y'all think? I like it a lot. This is honestly one of my favorites, and I can whip this up pretty quickly, honestly. Probably in like 10-15 minutes which is pretty good for me because I'm a perfectionist. So, <laughs> yeah. I just really think that this eye look will kind of go with like anything, like any like big event. If you just want to look really nice for a date night or something, Gwen, I want to take pictures because that's what I do. I don't have a life. But uh, I've worn this out to a few events and I just really like how this makeup look looks and how it just suits my eyes. And it's perfect for fall, honestly. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.